Well, sorry, I had a. I noticed I had a nose there on the last video. Hopefully, there ain't one this morning. Um, I've wasted two days really on the seats. It will be good as and when I can get them fitted. Um, but I faffed about going and getting them. I then got a bit giddy trying to fit them. Then I spent the whole day the next day trying to fabricate stuff to make it fit. Couldn't do it. And in the end, I've had to put the van back together, Mercedes seats back on, um, floor mats in and everything else, and get on with what I should have been doing two days ago. Now, I've got a week off this week. I don't think I've mentioned it, but I've got a week off. Uh, so I, was, I was hoping to make some huge progress every day, uh, bar a couple where I've got family things. Uh, trying to get stuff done, wasted two of them. So back on it now, I'll show you what I've got done this morning. Right, doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot to me um, because I've, like I said, I've lost two days. So suddenly within an hour, I've put these bits in. Then cross buttons are not fastened in yet. That's where the bed's gonna end, I think, I hope, which is why they're there. I'm now gonna lay the back of this floor in to see, because uh, ideally I want patterns right where the two pieces of floor meet. Um, <laughs> when I finish this and I've got all the floor in, it's gonna look just like it looked when I bought it. When I take, apart from the um, sound deadening, it's gonna look just the same. And it's taken me a week. But anyway, stop moaning, crack on, get on with it. We'll see how far we get today. Good morning again, if it's morning where you are. I keep forgetting to do this, so uh, click like, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you see uh, videos as and when they come up, if that's what you like, if that's what you want to do. Um, so click like and subscribe, leave me a comment, ask about the build, whatever you want. So, cracked on yesterday, uh, still got problems with the seats as in the driver's seat and things can't get them to fit so I'm waiting for some steel to come some steel plate that I can try and fabricate something to make it fit I'm not a fabricator I don't know what I'm doing as per usual uh, but I'm gonna sort of scratch my head and sit and think for a while and hopefully I'll get it done um, what I want to show you now is what we did yesterday didn't do any filming um, so here you go Basically, like I say, we didn't do any filming. I've shone, I've shone a light under here so you can see a little bit. I propped it up with a piece of wood. But we did the floor. The buttons were already in, you've seen them, they've been in for a while. But finally we got the insulation board, 25 mil, uh, the tape to uh, seal it all there. And then put the old floor back on which hopefully you'll see here now. There you go. Now it's almost staying there. I mean, this floor's been scrubbed clean. It's with an inch of its life. Um, but this is like a, a stain of oil or something. That's a piece of, I don't know if it's plaster, old plaster or cement, something that stained it, but it's completely clean. And then if you look where the tie down holes are, I've got some inserts, that one's not so good. I've got some inserts to plug the hole. And this, this one I'm particularly proud of. There was a, a bolt through there. If you see, pretty good for a circle. So there will be a floor going on the top of this. And we will, we will sort of go up the walls with the silver foil. So when we put the vapour barrier on, it all lines up and connects. But for right now, it means I can stand in here without falling over on the buttons. We can't get this front bit done. We can't get this front bit done until the seats are in. And once the seats are in, that'll give you the distance to the passenger seats, which we've got all this marked out, but these are going to be in the wrong place now. Hopefully it'll move them forward. And by doing that, it'll give us a bit more space in the car. 